man want of me. He has gone totally mad. Don't worry. There must be some way of getting you out of there, and I'm going to find it. But do hurry up, my child. I am terrified he will return and become dangerous. Be strong, Madame Romansky. You can trust me. Let's have a look at the padlock. Pretty sure there's something that we can uh, do here. Uh, we do have the uh, the metal shears still, so there we go. Oh, at last, young lady, I was beginning to be desperate. I came as fast as I could. Now hurry, get out of here quickly before that maniac notices. I've got to get Oscar's hands back. Okay, let's grab the screwdriver. There we go, beautiful. We've got the hands back now as well. Fantastic. Are you all right, madam? My heart has been put to the test here, but it just might hold up. Let's go. Let's not hang around here. But you are not strong enough, not for me. So you can stop playing games now. Return the hands to me and bring Madame Romansky back, or I shall not be responsible for my actions. You don't scare me, you old lunatic. Helena, grab the hands and get back to the train. Tell Oscar to get ready to leave. I'm gonna find a way out of this lousy factory. No chance. You will never succeed. Ha! We'll just see about that. I warned you, Kate Walker. I warned you. Be careful, my child. You too. And don't worry. Okay, let's try and get out of here.
Okay, that's not not good. I think uh, the elevator has exploded there, so we can't get back. Uh, we're going to keep going forwards. This should take us right up to the train. the other way out of here. Luckily there is... Ah, uh, let's have a look here. Ah, uh, there is, or there was... A ventilation duct by the side. I think it's a bit further up here. Now, on one of the side walls, there, there we go. It's, it's uh, been blown open now. Uh, so we should be able to climb through here and hopefully find another way out. Uh, let's go and give uh, Oscar his hands back. Uh, actually, do we have his hands? Uh, we've got to get them from uh, Helena. If she hasn't uh, given them to uh, Oscar already. Uh, let's have a quick chat with her. Make sure she's okay. What on earth is going on? Why is this train not moving? This is not the time to hang around with that madman on the loose. That is a bit of a concern. Don't worry. I'll take care of it. Okay, now let's see if we can find where Oscar is. Ah, uh, where's he gone? Ah, uh, where is Oscar? Ah, uh, the train has been, uh, been wound up, I do believe. Oscar, I think, was at the front, so let's go and have a look and see if he's still still at the front here. Ah, there we go. Oscar, I'm back. Let's get out of here. What a pleasure it is to see you again, Kate Walker. Please take your seat with Miss Helena in the carriage. She simply is a charming lady. She helped me screw my hands back on. I must inform you, though, that regulations make no provision for supplementary passengers I hope that you still have your ticket for Arrowbad. Oscar! Message received and understood, Kate Walker. Departure imminent. Hello? Kate, hi. It's me, Dan. Are you alright? I'm okay now, yeah, thanks. But uh, if I said that not long ago I was grappling with a mad music lover who wanted to kidnap an old forgotten opera star, but I foiled his plan and escaped through an abandoned mine, then I guess... it's completely mad. You'd be proud of me, Dan. Real proud. 
Kate, I don't understand a thing you're saying. I barely recognize you. No, it doesn't matter. How was your day? Yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, I went to dinner with the Goldbergs. I finally beat Bob at squash. Uh, the cleaning woman broke the vase in the entrance hall. Well, other than that, nothing new. I see. Everything's cool, though? Yeah, yeah, everything's, uh, cool. You're not missing me at all? Oh, yeah, sure I am. I had Olivia on the phone. She was a little upset. Nothing to say? I'm so sorry. I, I, I don't know what came over me. It, it happened so quickly. I just totally lost control. I was so weak, so dumb. I just can't imagine how... I just can't... I can't imagine how you could ever forgive me. What a bastard I've been. I don't know, Dan. Maybe I'm to blame somewhere in all this. Maybe I pushed you into Olivia's arms. I'm well aware that this trip has taken me far from New York and far from the Kate you once knew. And you know what surprises me the most? I don't miss it. What's happening to us, Kate? Maybe we've just realized we don't really love each other, Dan. We can talk about it when you get back if you want. I don't know, Dan. We'll see. Okay, so let's go and talk to uh, Oscar. Looks like the uh, the giant automaton here has um, put these bars across the path, and uh, we can't we can't travel forwards. What is it this time? Large iron rods have emerged from between the huge legs of the giant statue. The track is now completely blocked. But that's absolutely crazy. Will that madman never get off our case? I'm gonna see what I can do. Let's see if we can uh, find some TNT in here and uh, hopefully blow up uh, the giant automaton there. There we go, there's a little bit left, fantastic. One block of dynamite left and uh, we're going to use this over here on the legs of the, uh, the giant uh, robot, whatever you want to call it. Okay, let's grab this out of our inventory. The last thing we've got, dynamite. Oscar, let's get the hell out of here. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is uh, is wind up the train. So let's go to the uh, the other end of the station. You okay, Oscar? Still in one piece? Humor is a concept outside the scope of my functionality, Kate Walker. You should know that by now. Oscar, come on, quit crabbing. We got out of that dingy city safe and sound, didn't we? And even with a certain style, I might add. Style is the right word. Hey, what are you doing on the platform? That's not like you. 
I wanted to take a little air and dust away the cobwebs from my joints. This salt wind is terrible, though. I think it would be wiser to return to our nice warm train. Get a life, Oscar. The weather has changed since my last visit. The wind has dropped, and it has started snowing a little. I was not fortunate enough to accompany you on your first visit, Kate Walker. You abandoned me to who knows what horrible fate in that creepy factory. Oscar, do you know something? You're changing. You might not notice, but you are. Change is outside the scope of my functionality, Kate Walker. See you around, Oscar. I'll be waiting for you, Kate Walker. Mr. Felix, sir. What can I do for you, ma'am? I never thought that I'd travel so far away from home. You're still young, ma'am. Open those big brown eyes of yours and see the world. My eyes have never been so open, Mr. Felix. Well, I'm gonna hit the road again. Uh, would it be too much to ask where you're going? Who can say? Well, I wish you the best of luck, Miss Walker. There's no way you could help me in my research, is there? Once upon a time, but today, no way, José. Goodbye, Mr. Felix. You haven't changed your mind, then. I could do you a good deal on the royal suite. Thanks very much, but I really must be going. Hello, Oscar. Hello, Kate Walker. You know something, Oscar? Despite all our mishaps and your grating personality, I think I'm gonna miss you. Why? Are you leaving us, Kate Walker? Yes. When I found Hans Varlberg, I'm going to have to go home to New York. That's your decision, Kate Walker? Oscar, I think everything's ready. We can go now. Are you sitting comfortably? Then we can start the engine and get going. I'll be circulating shortly to punch your ticket. Uh, give me a break, Oscar. Miss Walker! Miss Walker! Wait, wait! Don't go yet! Mr. Felix, what's the matter now? Has something happened to Madame Romansky? No, no, not at all. Our favorite diva's fine and dandy, but there's a package for you at the reception. I said to myself, I said, Felix, maybe she's got to have it before she goes. A package for me? But that's impossible. But it's got Miss Walker written on it, clear as day. Why didn't you tell me about it earlier? It's only just arrived, like. Oh, and, well, who delivered it? Um, I don't know. I just took my eye off reception for a moment. The game was on, you see, and, uh, and there it was, on the counter in reception. Uh, come and get it. Okay.
Okay, so let's head back to the reception and uh, find out what this package is all about. We're almost ready to, uh, to complete the game, actually. It's been a pretty fantastic, pretty fantastic journey through Paris and, uh, and Eastern Europe. Let's have a look. Hello? What the hell are you up to, Kate? Mr. Marson, please, do try to understand. Understand? What I understand is this. One, our main client is ready to drop the whole caboodle if the deal isn't tied up in the next 24 hours. Two, this is going to cost the firm multi dineros. And three, I made a serious error of judgment trusting you with this case. That's what I understand. I know it doesn't look like it, but... No buts, Walker. You're looking for a senile old creek and you're attack, making heavy weather attack, of it. Attack. You know, he isn't as senile as all that. He's got this creative streak. Look, drop the mumbo jumbo. I don't want excuses. I want... I've got to go, Mr. Marson. I think I'm onto something. Penalty! Hello, reception here. Felix Masana at your service. Uh, yes, ma'am. Yes, yes. Yes, she's right here in front of me, ma'am. Immediately. Please, be my guest. Uh, Miss Walker, Madame Romanski would like you to join her at the hotel bar as quickly as possible. I'm going. Madame Romansky, you wanted to see me? There you are, my dear. I wanted to talk to you before you leave. I didn't want you to get the wrong idea. Despite our mishap in Konkosgrad, I'm very grateful to you. You helped me to forget my life here and this dead beach where I stroll up and down all day getting more and more bored. So much the better. Time passes so quickly. One day you are at the peak of your glory. You think it is going to last forever. And then one day the bubble bursts and you are washed up and forgotten. Madame Romansky, don't be so gloom and doom. It doesn't suit you. And if there is no one left to help you out, you start to sink. Sink into a long, dark winter. Perhaps you should rest now. You've had a trying time. It's been emotional. You must be tired. When I returned here, Hans gave me such a taste for life. He too was ill. Oh, he coughed. He must have spent too long at the factories, breathing in their smoke. And then he was better. And he left. And I stayed with my memories. Hans Varlberg? Hans Vorarlberg was so full of joy, so carefree. He was a little simple of spirit, of course, as they say. He was a child. A child who made fantastic toys. I think that maybe I loved him. God alone knows where he is today. The plane with the hotel supplies has arrived. Maybe you should take a walk outside. I don't understand. I am old. I am tired. I have been very pleased to meet you, Kate Walker. Goodbye, James. Do look after Madame Romansky. That is all I ever do, miss. May fortune follow your every footstep. The snow is a good sign. Really? The snow chases the wind away and covers the salt and sand on the ground. The air becomes purer and still. Ideal conditions for a constitutional. Great. Thanks for everything, James.
Good morning, sir. Mr. Vorlberg? Hans Vorlberg? You've brought the train, then. That's good. Mr. Vorlberg, you have no idea how pleased I am to meet you at last. I'm Kate... Where is Anna? Your sister has passed away, Mr. Vorlberg. I am sorry. Truly sorry. Ah, okay. Otherwise, it's Anna who would have come, right? Not you. <laughs> I guess you're right, Mr. Vorlberg. My name's Kate Walker. I... Kate Walker. Okay, I'm going away on the train. A long way away. Where's that? That way. Siberia. Siberia. Uh, I'm sorry. Mr. Vorlberg, I've been ordered to tie up the buyout of your factory in Valadilene. It's, uh, my job, you understand. Anna told me. The automatons. That's over now, isn't it? Mr. Varlberg, the factory belongs to you now, and I need your signature to tie up the deal. Okay. Then I'm going away on the train. Here's the sales contract. I'll give you some time to look it over. Your sister already agreed to the terms. All we need now is your signature. What? You've signed just like that? Without reading it? I can't read. I don't know how to. Oh. In that case, I'll read it for you. No, it's okay. Leave it. I've got to go away on the train, Kate Walker. As you wish, Mr. Varlberg. And let me wish you a very pleasant journey. Yes? Listen, Walker, I've decided to send over some backup. No need, Mr. Marson. What do you mean? Hans Varlberg has just signed. Everything's hunky-dory. Are you saying that... Yep. That Varlberg Manufacturing is now the exclusive property of the Universal Toy Company. But... <laughs> that's great news. Good work. Excellent work, Walker. A real masterstroke. I knew I could count on you, Kate. I congratulate you. Thank you, sir. Right, now get back here as quick as you can. I want those papers on my desk tomorrow. My secretary will organize a meeting with Universal Toys immediately. You'll no doubt want to hand over the contract yourself. And now that I think of it, I've got no one on the Schwann Airport case. Big trial coming up. A real opportunity. The job is yours. My little way of saying thank you, Kate Walker. You're too kind. You have a great career as a lawyer ahead of you, Kate. See you tomorrow. Well done again, and don't lose those papers, huh? <laughs> that would be the dumbest thing. <laughs> sure. Real dumb. Kate Walker? Yes, Mr. Varlberg? Are you coming on the train too, Kate Walker? Uh, no. That really wasn't in the plan. But thanks for offering. This adventure's all over for me now, Mr. Varlberg. Too bad. Silly, really. You don't like adventure, do you? I don't really... I mean, maybe there's... <sighs> it's not easy to say. Yes? I have to go back to New York. They're waiting for me there, you understand? I understand. The plane. It's going to New York, too, maybe. Maybe. I suppose I'd better go find out. Yes. It's more sensible. Maybe. See you later, Kate Walker. Yes. See you later, Mr. Varlberg.